Okay, new angle for people looking at this podcast. It is because I've got some work being carried out in my man cave, and so therefore I need to quickly record this podcast here. Okay, so today um, I get so many questions about how much rent I'm paying, and so I believe it's in tomorrow's newsletter, all written down nicely. But I'm going to go through it now. If you want to subscribe to the newsletter, that's all the cool kids are. MrSellStories.com. Uh, go over there and uh, have a look. And do you know what? I've sent me an email. Um, three hours ago and i have had a hundred percent uh people said they absolutely loved it and i was like oh yeah because sometimes i get people there get a real job <laughs> and so anyway right head on over there mrsoftstory.com put your email address in and i will send you details updates of uh, figures and uh a soft stories to every single day right so i've got five locations how much rent do i pay in total uh, and to be honest i've never actually calculated it like this uh in total and I'm like, freak, 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 freak. I need a freehold. And so let's go through one at a time. Step number one, Willoughby. The rent of the start with footprint. The building footprint is 30,000 square foot. We have a mezzanine flooring, but the footprint is 30,000 square foot. We pay £172,770 rent. Jeepers creepers. Don't get me wrong, it's only £5.75 per square foot. It's a good building. It's relatively cheap price per square foot rent, but it's still a shit ton of money when you put it all together. So 172,770 Beverly. My little um golden nugget, the rent is eighteen thousand. The price per square foot, it doesn't really matter because it's an uh, outdoor container site. So you know, it is what is it? Uh twenty three thousand square I don't know. Somewhere on there anyway. So the price can't that much. It's not very big. It's not a big site at all. But we squeeze as many containers in as possible. Though the Beverly rent is 18,000 square foot. Clough Road, the rent is 90,000 pound. It is actually a bit more because uh, the building, became, it was supposed to be 10,000 square foot building for whatever reason. It was a little bit more. And there, all we, we pay a little bit more. But for argument's sake, the rent at Clough Road is 90,000 pound. The building footprint is 10,000 square foot. We pay nine pound per square foot. Nine pound per square foot. The reason why this is so much more than Beverly is that this is a purpose built building. I was, I was chasing the guy who owned the land, who owned the land. Um, I was chasing the agent for many, many years. I always liked Clough Road. I knew it was going to be a good sell story site. It's right next to Starbucks and right next to a Greg's. Great location, massive, massive traffic, and so I knew it was going to be great. And um, but the problem is. The guy who owned the land um, owned Starbucks land and Greg's land, and he only deals with blue chip companies. And during COVID, I was like, to the agent, please get him, get kind of a meeting, please. If you don't still like me after a meeting or thinks I'm not big enough or whatever, fine, I'll stop bug- bugging you. He had a meeting with me, and um, I got on with him. He got on with me, and he was like, perfect. And it was supposed to be eight pound per square foot, but he actually put the mezzanine flooring in for me. And so that boy made it nine pound per square foot, which overall is probably not a good deal. But for me back then, to put a mezzanine floor in is, and I couldn't afford it. It was six figures, and it just six figures that I didn't want to spend. So we have an extra pound per square foot, and he put the mezzanine floor in for me. And I wouldn't recommend that, it, but needs must, and it's, it's good for him, and it was good for me at the time. As it happens, Darren, the landlord, is an absolute top, top bloke. Really good, decent guy, and uh, just got on with him like house on fire. Just a really honest, nice guy, and you'd never, ever know that he was a man who owned all this land around the country he's uh it's a family-run business and yeah he's, he's just a great guy and so um and he's, he's absolutely super helpful as well any issues any problems and always gets back to me really really quickly and to be fair so is a guy willoughby uh willoughby great great guy as well um he comes he's he's an older bloke and uh he comes around maybe once a year check up and we have a good old natter put the wells to rights and so yeah we've got a great relationship with with all animals. That's because we pay on time, I suppose, and that's what the main thing is. So Clough Road, £90,000 rent for the year. Wrexham. Uh, Wrexham and Mansfield are owned by two separate companies, but the, the massive, massive companies where both be, both owners or both companies have like 400, 500 commercial buildings. So I haven't got the same relationship with the Wrexham owners and Mansfield owners because I don't know them. I can't get to see somebody. I've spoken to somebody called Roger in Wrexham, who works for the company. He seems a thoroughly nice chap and um, really got on with him, but 
to so many different people, point of contact, but you don't get to really meet these people. So Wrexham, I pay £55,000. Um, the building footprint is £10,000. So the price per square foot is £5.50. As it happens, near as damn it the same as Willoughby. Right, on to Mansfield, our new site. It's 20,000 square foot. 20,000 square foot building footprint. At the minute, I'm paying £60,000 rent. But that is only because it's half price for 18 months. Half price for 18 months. Basically, I tried to nine months rent free. And they said, no, we can do six. And I said, I've gone out nine years of reasons why. I showed them all projections, showed them. I explained self stories. That, Listen, as a company, it's, it's beneficial for you and beneficial for me if, if we stay around. And we're going to stay around if we do our numbers correctly. And I said, look, this is how much money is coming in when we first open. And this is how much money is coming in after the first um, nine months. And he goes, the all day says, Dean, I tell you what, <clears throat> um, we can't do half, we can't do um, rent free for nine months. We need some money coming in. That's how, that's the only way we can sell it to our investors uh, or the, the chairman or whatever, the board members. So what we need to do is we need to do it as 18 months half price, which in effect is nine months rent free. So for the first 18 months, I'm paying £60,000. Obviously, the full price is £120,000. So the price per square foot I'm paying now is £3. I'm paying £3 per square foot. And don't forget, we've got a mezzanine floor in it as well, but that don't count. Um, so the price per square foot we're paying now is £3, but the full price will be £6 per square foot. So at Willoughby, we're paying £5.75. At Clough Road, we're paying 9 At Wrexham, we're paying £5.50. And at Mansfield, we are paying uh, £6 per square foot. So the total rent that I am paying every single year that I am is £455.770. I can just I can see you, John McGlynn, saying, you need a freehold, you idiot. And yes, I know I need a freehold, but the problem is, to get a freehold, you need a deposit. I'm looking at a property right now for 1.75 million. I don't have 600 grand for a deposit just lined up there, John. It's not like you rich people. I'm trying to I'm trying to scrimp and scrape and borrow from Peter for Paul and then build this slowly up. But at one point, promise you, promise you, I will be in a position where I can buy a freehold. And I can't wait for that, that, that time. But right now, uh, I can't afford it for the big buildings that I want. Maybe maybe a bit of land, maybe. <laughs> but but yeah, the, this is where you've got to start off. You've got to start off leasing and eventually then you start off by buying. But I'm still in the leasing phase. And it, it's it's interesting watching watching these people with massive funding. And by the way, I've been offered funding for three or four different, I think it's four different people I've been offered funding for and then money wouldn't be an issue. But I don't want to do it with venture back. I, I want to do it without any consulting or whatever. I want to do it just me because I keep the whole pie. And I've been offered and offered and offered um, and it's not something. And, and by the way, when I say offered, I've been offered three or four times. I can't remember which. But that's an actual offering where we've spoken to them and it's been offered on the table. But I've been approached many more times as well because obviously it's a platform. But it's not something I want to do. I kind of enjoy scraping and scraping and trying to get to this next level without taking venture money. And as Russell Brunson said, I haven't cheated. Cheating is taking venture back money. Okay, I haven't cheated. I've done it through great determination and luck. <laughs> yeah, loads of luck, and we still need a lot of luck because get yeah, four hundred and fifty-five thousand coming out. That's nearly ten grand a week coming out on rent. Fuck it, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I, I, I tried to say I promise I won't swear anymore on the podcast, but fuck it. Here we are. Right, so that is it, my friends. That is how much I pay rent every single month. Don't forget to sub, Mr. Self Storage. Uh, you will love it. Promise you. All right, guys, I love you. I appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow.